Hi, I'm making this video to hopefully save people who are doing this process uh, some time and effort and uh, and really just kind of make this process simple. I know it can be a real fight if you don't approach it the correct way. So what I'm doing is I'm installing uh, a solid axle boot on a uh, Volkswagen swing axle transmission axle tube. And uh, I found this worked really well. I did the first one and it went on so slick I thought I'm going to make a video of this, maybe help some people out. Um, I've taken bits and pieces from other YouTube videos that I've seen, the information that they provide, and uh, applied it to this. But this, this works really well. So first off, um, I've cleaned up the axle tube um, just because it's got, you know, usually they're rusty or dirty or whatever. And a lot of guys will tell you, and it's not a bad idea, to clean up the flange, this, this wide part that the axle boot has to go over clean it up really well, get rid of the burrs and so on, and that's never a bad idea. But I stumbled across this technique I'm using um, with another application where I was putting tires on wheels and just trying to protect the wheels. I'm using Gorilla Tape, which has a very uh, smooth plastic of some sort backing on it, which is super slippery when it's wet with soapy water or, or with oil. Um, today I'm using motor oil and you could use gear oil Anything you have around the garage, clean stuff uh, as a lubricant. I put some on the uh, on the uh, tape. I'm going to put a little bit more on it because I want to make sure this has got enough all the way around on this on the edge primarily. And I've also lubricated the inside of the axle boot itself. So the process is to get the axle boot onto the onto that flange as much as possible. And it's so slippery that it it won't even want to stay on once you get it part way on. So you have to kind of make sure it doesn't slip off. So you get it on part way and you need um, something with a shaft on it that's going to be strong enough and long enough to go through the boot down to the other out, outside the edge. And you have to be careful with this if you're using screwdrivers. Make sure the shafts are clean and smooth and then run it through the boot. You can see it's come all the way through there. The boot is slipping off. And I lubricate the shafts as well with, uh, with the same oil. Um, you can use like a WD-40 or uh, even like a silicone spray or whatever. But since you're working on your transmission, oops, you probably have your oil around anyways. So you don't have to go out and get something special. Now I'm going to fight with this a little bit because it's so slippery. It's not even staying on. Okay, so I get it to this point. The shafts are through. Make sure that it's through far enough. And because this material is fairly stiff, especially around the small opening, it's way smaller than the size of this shaft, you want to warm it up. And I use a heat gun. You can pre-warm these, but they tend to cool down fairly fast. So uh, I'm just pre -war or just warming this up with uh, the heat gun. The thinnest part of the cone, you don't have to preheat the whole thing, but the the small end especially needs to be softened up, and that's what the heat does, is it just makes it more pliable. You want to be careful not to overdo it uh, as far as the heat goes because it will melt at higher temperatures. So you gotta regulate the heat enough. I'm just working it all the way around the outside edge of this. You don't want to be in a rush. You don't want to heat it up too fast because it can damage the material. And just be careful not to heat up your hands too because you can burn yourself. You're using enough heat with a heat gun like this that uh, you can cause yourself a burn. So I'm not aiming it at my hand. I have to hold this, this boot on where it is right now. Believe it or not, it wants to slide off of there. So that's why I'm holding it in place. That should do it. So force this down as far as you can. Get some pressure on your shaft. This is just going to slide right over this flange, just like that. It's that simple. It doesn't even require a whole lot of force. So now that's on, so remember the boot's inside out and it looks like it's facing the wrong way, but when you turn it inside out, it's facing the proper direction. Uh, it's fairly simple to do when it's warm because it's fairly pliable. Last little bit. 
bottom edge sometimes is hard and if you can't get it with your fingers I made myself a little tool out of some uh, heavy gauge wire and get it inside there you got to be careful not to put pressure on the inside of the boot where it's gonna um, puncture it or anything because then you're back to square one and just work that edge out now I'm gonna fight with it again probably should have set the camera up on the other side so you could see it a little better because I'm right-handed So I'm trying to push this through Okay, I've got part of that rolled over this out of the way. And hook it and work it around. And just like that. And so now that's on. Put that down. And then I'm just taking it out of the vise. You gotta make sure you hold this solid in the vise because with the amount of force you're putting on it and so on, it's gonna to wanna to move around and you need two hands free. So that just works well. So that's it. Take this uh, tape off, clean things up a little bit. You're already using uh, an oil that's compatible with this. So you, you just need to clean it up a little bit if you want to, the outside of it. And you're good to go for installing. You have to put your uh, your mating flange on the, uh, like, Fold this like this and slide it through your uh, your flange, your mounting plate, and you're away. Thanks.